While a medical breakthrough could let us undergo potentially life-saving cancer screening in a matter of minutes, researchers in Australia saying they have developed a 10-minute test that can detect malignant cells anywhere in the human body. And what's more, the study says the breakthrough is cheap and simple. Let's bring in Megan Roberts, who's looking into this for us. So uh, tell us more about this test, how it actually works. Well, it's quite simple as researchers describe it. Essentially, it's a color changing test. This is coming from the University of Queensland, and they are calling it really significant, a bit of a breakthrough. They developed it after they discovered that cancer forms a unique DNA structure when it's placed in water. So this is how the test works. Researchers took a water-based solution that they put gold nanoparticles in, and then they put in DNA that had cancer in it, and that water stayed pink. And then if you put in DNA that is healthy, the water stays blue. And that color change comes from the way that those that DNA sample bonds with those gold nanoparticles. So it causes that color change, and it's as simple as that. Pink is cancerous, blue is healthy. The test right now is 90% accurate in detecting cancerous DNA and what it would do is serve as a first step for doctors because it can't say where the cancer is or what kind of cancer it is, simply that it's present in the in the bloodstream, in the body or in bodily fluid. So it would be that first step. Now one of the researchers was saying that this test is universal and that's one of the most significant things about it because the way that cancer is, cancer is tested right now it's kind of different for each kind of cancer it's also invasive this is less invasive and it's also universal so it's really quite a breakthrough Michael mm -hmm. a breakthrough as you say so when might this be available for people well, it's not quite ready for the market yet. There's still some testing to be done. So they right now have tested it on 200 different DNA samples from human, both healthy and both with cancer present. They've also used it to detect four different kinds of cancer. So they'll need to test it to make sure that it does have that broader range. Now, we actually spoke to the co-author of the study and he detailed some of the steps that still need to be taken, but also gave us a bit of a timeline. And this is what he said. We are currently uh, like doing these tests we are with large number of uh, human samples and we are looking for collaboration with clinicians and we are looking for investors to to you know fund this technique if everything goes r right we can go within few years now one of the other potential uses they're hoping that this test could prove useful for is to see how effective treatment is so they could use this test to w see whether or not cancer treatment is effective and they're also hoping that if everything goes forward as planned, if everything moves well, that it could just be something that doctors use as part of a regular physical. It could just be part of a regular checkup so that this kind of cancer could be, or any kind of cancer actually, could be detected much earlier, Michael. Okay, Megan, thank you for that.